Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Pixelmon series. This is episode 3 and today we're going to be doing a couple of different things. Um, one, we're going to be hunting for some diamonds. Uh, we need diamonds to make a healing station as well as diamonds to make obsidian or to gather obsidian so we can go into the nether. Um, we need to go into the nether because we need redstone lamps which require glow dust. I guess we could try battling some electric possibly to get enough glow dust to get a redstone lamp and we need our redstone lamp to make ourselves a PC. So the plan for today, find diamonds, get ourselves a PC, get ourselves a couple more Pokemon, hopefully a full six man team. We'll continue hunting for our Pikachu, but I don't know if we're gonna find it here or not. And then I will go over a short period on the wiki and how to use that. But yeah, for now, let's uh, just jump into it. I think we're gonna start over with the wiki, so let me jump over there and show y'all how the wiki runs. Alright guys, here we are on the Pixelmon wiki. The URL is pixelmonmod.com. Um, usually you'll come to the screen right here. Now, the way the wiki, or how you use the wiki is there's a few different tabs here. The main one you'll probably be focusing on is the wiki tab. But there's also downloads if you want to download, say, different Pixelmon mods. This is one of the extras I use. It's called Pixelmon Extras. And the reason I use this is for the IVs and the EVs. So I can easily check on those. But the main reason you want to use this is the wiki. Now on the wiki, this is the main wiki page. If you scroll down, you'll see Pokemon, you'll see recipes, and you'll see items. So if you click on Pokemon, and let's say I'm looking for Pikachu, because we've been looking for a Pikachu in this episode. So let me click on Pikachu. And then if you scroll down, it tells you all its abilities, what its catch rate is, um, behaviors. And then if you scroll down even farther, you can see spawn biome. So all forest, time, day, location, land and it's rare unless it's storming then it's an uncommon spawn then you have the held items what it drops stats um effectiveness the moves it can learn but yeah so there's a lot of good information on the wiki as far as pokemon go now there is something weird you can't like reclick this you have to like click forum and then have to go back to wiki so it's kind of odd in that regard but then if you go to recipes and what we're wanting to craft later today is actually a machine and it is the pc so here's the pc it shows you what items you need you can click these items to see how you obtain them this also shows you recipes for other machines or pokemon specialties like for example vending machines things like that but it looks like to make our PC we need glass um, redstone um, redstone lamp then some of these which are aluminum plates so if I click on this it'll take me to the aluminum plate and then you can click obtaining and then here's how you make them so these Pokemon will drop them and then to make them you take an aluminum ingot place it on the anvil and use a hammer on it um, and that's how you create the plates. But yeah, those are the main things to look at for the wiki. Um, if you're interested, you can go to servers as well. These are multiplayer servers that you can join usually for free. Um, they all have different rules and specifications, so you'll have to check that out for yourself. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, run over the wiki and show y'all how that works. But yeah, let's jump back over into a Minecraft and get on with the episode. Alright guys, we found ourselves our first cave. Um, I was just kind of digging down to Y equals 12, because that's like the level to find diamonds. And is that them? No, that is not them. So that's crystal. We can use that to make more uh, tools out of uh, crystals, which would be like iron. So that's not a bad find. Diamonds in a 1.12 are typically found at Y12 and below. Um, so I don't expect to find too much at this level, but I just wanted to, like, take a quick look around and just see. There's some uh, lapis lazuli. Oh, no, that's for sapphire, so we can use that also to craft tools. 
Alright guys, I think we found our first set of diamonds. I believe this is diamonds in this texture pack, but let's find out. Yes, it is. Alright, we found diamonds. Let's see how many we get. There's one, two, alright. Oh, 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 and a third, and a fourth. Nice, it looks like we got four diamonds. Let me just double check and make sure there are no more. And then, yeah, we'll have enough to make ourselves a diamond pick and get ourselves some obsidian. Alright, we were exploring and we found another vein of diamonds. Let's see how many we get from this. So there's one, two, and three, and four. Alright, another four it looks like. Nice, so sweet. That brings our total up to eight diamonds. That's enough for our pickaxe as well as a healing station. We still have the healing station at the Pokemon Center though, so we don't have to worry too much about that right now. All right, I found this magic carp just kind of floating right here. So I wanted to see if we could catch this and make this our third Pokemon. So we're gonna go ahead and toss out our Ponyard. So I believe we can use Fury Cutter until he's really low because it's a weak move, but let's see how much damage that does. All Magikarp will know right now is Splash. Might, maybe he does no tackle, he is level 20. But I think I can get at least two more Fury Cutters in. And then we'll try and catch him. Okay, just one Fury Cutter. And now we will try to catch him. So we'll go to our bag, we'll go to Pokeballs. Um, I'm just gonna use our regular Pokeball. That should be plenty enough for this guy. Two, three, that should be it. All right, we got ourselves a Magikarp. Nice. So we now have a three Pokemon. Now we're gonna go back to looking for some diamonds. Alright, we're making ourselves a diamond pick real quick, and then we're going to get ourselves some obsidian. So let me go ahead and get that. The way I like to do obsidian is I like to go ahead and dig out one obsidian. Like this, and just dig out one real quick. And once I dig this out, I'll probably lose this block, because there's probably lava underneath. So bad. It does take a while to mine, it is obsidian. And hey, it, it doesn't have lava underneath, okay. Well, that is good to know. So what I like to do is just dig a single hole and then put a water bucket down, just in case there's some lava flowing from somewhere. This just protects me from dying and losing everything I've found so far. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and mine up the obsidian we need to make ourselves a portal. We'll need a total of 12 blocks because I like to make my portals 3x3. Three three. Um, but yeah, let me get enough obsidian to do that and I'll bring y'all back in after that. Oh boy, everybody. We found ourselves a shiny Metapod. Metapod. See if we can catch this bad boy now that I've actually got a Pokeballs available. Okay, let's see. So he's level 7. Um, I don't think I can actually use a Fury Cutter because I think it'll kill him. Alright, so what we're going to try first is one Pokeball. Uh, let's use this level ball since my guy's a lot higher level and see if it works. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No! Oh, yes! We got it, everybody. We have a shiny Metapod. Let's rock and roll. Alright, so that uh was our first shiny. Nice. So I will say that's a success. Let's uh go ahead and hit E. Let's put him at the top of the list and let's check him out. Check out this baby. Metapod. 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 Of course he's got no moves whatsoever. Um He's got shed skin, so it may heal its own status condition, which is nice. Alright, he's got a high attack, low def- no, high defense, low attack. It's reversed, it's red, it's better, green's worse. Nice, and he's a shiny. Alright, let's check him out in the decks. Now, if I hit I, 
and I scroll down to Metapod. Yes, there we go, everybody. Metapod. We can see the different versions. We got the regular Metapod, which is green. We've got the shiny version, which is like orangish red. And we've got Metapod. the Lalincian edition. Nice. So we got it. We got our first shiny. How exciting. Metapod. All right, guys, well, welcome back. This episode is going to be jam packed, but I have found what I believe is the grass gem. So if I come over here. Oh no, I didn't mean to get in the line of sight. Yep, I got in his line of sight, and now we are in a battle. Like I said, I believe this is the grass gem, or possibly a bug gem. It could be bug, because the Whirly Pete, I think, is a bug. Um, but I wanted to show you all this real quick. It's a bunch of like regular gems. You gotta beat certain people to get to the gym leader. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, train for this. I'm definitely not gonna win here. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. I just wanted to uh, look at it. Uh, uh, check it out. Show you all what's up. But we're gonna beat this guy. And then, uh, well, probably not beat him, but I'll, uh, I'll bring y'all back out in a bit, because I don't want to spend too much on this, because this wasn't the plan for today, but I've been exploring, and I just saw this and wanted to show y'all, so yeah, let me, uh, let me see what I can do here, and I'll bring y'all back in a bit. Alright, so of course I lost that, I knew I was going to, but I just wanted to show y'all, I'm in here now, and it's like, you see these levels, and when you get in front of them, you battle them, and then once you get all the way to the middle, you'll see the actual gym leader, who's right there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you all that. This is definitely the grass gem, and we will definitely mark this on our map and prepare for that in the near future. But yep, like I said, I'm going to keep on searching for hopefully this Pikachu, and I'll see you all in a bit. Alright everybody, I haven't managed to find a Pikachu yet, um, but I think it's about time we go ahead and complete our nether portal. And get ready to head into that. So let's go ahead. So to create another portal, you need 12 blocks. Well, technically you don't need 12. You only need um, two, four. You only need 10. But I like to make my portals three by three rather than two by three. Um, so we are going to need 12. But you just put them in a pattern like this. Just like that. There you go. So that's three by three. Then you take your flint and steel, which can be made by a flint and iron. And then you just right click the portal and there you go. We got ourselves a portal. Now I'm gonna go ahead and beat this guy real quick and then we will go through the portal and see what's on the other side. Go ahead and do that, and goodbye, p -dove. All right, well, I don't need any of that, so I'm just gonna drop it. Oh, and look, just in time, our Metapod is evolving. Metapod. Didn't plan that, by the way. Just, uh, happened, you know. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this uh, Butterfree. Shiny Butterfree. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, yeah. Beautimus. All right. Come here. And then let's jump through said portal. So this is going to take us into the nether. Um, and that's good because we need a fire type for our team. And it, this is a good place to find fire types. I believe. Okay. Let's lay, wait for a few to spawn in. Oh, there's one down there. It's a Geodude, which I don't really want right now. There's a Houndor, which might be good. There's a Duskull, which I don't really need right now. Dang it, I couldn't escape. Let me go! There we go. Alright, we don't want a Duskull. 
I think that Houndor might be good. Houndor, Geodude, I hear Ekans, Arbok. Ooh, Impidimp. Um, he's dark type. I probably won't worry about him. There's another Ponyard. Oh, nope. Leave me alone, Ekans. There's a Ghastly. Can't really get down there safely, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. Another Ekans. Man, I thought there'd be more fire types in the nether. Darn, okay. Well, let's, um, hmm. Let's just go down here real quick. Maybe they're down on, like, the lava? No, Ponyard. Don't really want to battle Ponyard right now. Dang it. Thank you. Just had to hit me once, didn't you? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing fire types. Man, come on, Ekans. Alright, well, we are going to go over here and capture this Houndor, I think. Oh, there's a Slugma. You know what? Let's capture the Slugma. Ghastly, I don't really want to battle you right now. Alright, so we've got Slugma. We've got Houndor. Hmm. I wonder if we can find, like, a Charmander. I think their spawn's rare, so probably not. Alright, I think we're gonna go back up here. Hopefully this Houndor's still over here. Probably not. You know what? I see what we're getting. Uh, what is the name of this guy? Land it. He's a poison... Is he poison fire? Or ground fire? I don't remember. Oh, there's a Houndor. Let's go get the Houndor. I think I like him better. Alright. Sweet. A hey, Houndor. Come here. No, don't run. Don't run there. There we go. Alright. Let's see now. We need... Houndor is going to be super effective against both Ivysaur and Ponyard, so hopefully we can at least get a couple attacks off before he kills us. Alright, Ivysaur, I'll go with you first. Here's a Razor Leaf. Get his health down a bit. Oh no, Ivysaur's sleeping. Uh-oh. Alright, he's up. He's up. Cool. No worries, no worries. Nice. Perfect. Perfecto Mundo. So we're going to go ahead in here, get ourselves a Pokeball. I think we're just going to do a Pokeball. It should be low enough level. And... No! We didn't get him. Darn, that sucks. And he's dead. Okay. Um, I really don't want to use my last Ultra Ball. Uh, that's... didn't mean to throw that. I meant to see what it does. I probably won't catch him. Nope. Didn't think I would. Oof. Oof. Alright, let's go ahead... ...and throw a Pokeball. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it! Ah, uh, I can't attack him. He's gonna die. Yep. Dang, okay. Well. I mean, we'll try our Ultra Ball. It's gonna... Didn't really want to use an Ultra Ball on him, but... It's gonna do the trick. So, we got ourselves a Houndor. Nice. As you can see, you still get XP when you catch Pokemon. So, that's nice. But yeah, we're gonna head back to our... Um... Portal? Hopefully. Uh, I didn't lose my portal. Oh, look, there's another fortress over there. We'll go explore that later. Alright, let's get back to our portal. Set a waypoint, and then 
I will probably get ready to round out the video. But I'll be right back, y'all. And step one for getting a PC. Boxite ore. So this is boxite ore. It looks a little bit like iron, but it's boxite. Step two, we need some coal for smelting said bauxite ore. Step three, we need some sand so we can make some glass. Step four, we need some uh, redstone. Oh yeah, plenty of redstone there. Step five, we need some glowstone. Alright guys, let's go ahead and make our PC real quick. I've got the bauxite ore smelting. It gave me aluminum ingots. I need to smelt some glass, so we'll get that going. Um, over here is our crafting table. We need to take our glowstone and make a glowstone block. Oh, sorry, it's just four. There you go. Go ahead and do that. To make your glowstone then you put that in the middle and i believe that's it there we go there's our redstone go ahead and make that then we need our glass i gotta wait until i get six so while we're waiting on that you take your aluminum ingots you grab a hammer which I showed you to make in episode 1 or 2, maybe just episode 2. Put your aluminum ingots in your offhand, just like so. Right click the table, and then hold left click. It'll flatten out the plates, and turn them into aluminum plates. So flatten out the ingots and turn them into aluminum plates. You need 6 to make a PC. I think this is the last one I need because I've already got three. Yes. All right, that's done. Then we need to come back in here, grab our glass, come over to the crafting table, do a pattern of six, just like this, to make glass panes. Then we put together our PC so it's one two three six there then you need your redstone lamp in the center you need redstone dust in the bottom and last but not least you need your glass pane in the top there we go we made ourselves a pc now i'm just gonna put this down back here for now and now if i right click i can see what my boxes are and come in here change the the wallpapers, the colors, all that good stuff, like in previous, um, Pokemon games. And then I just hit escape to exit, and there we go, we have our PC. So, we are gonna call that the episode for today. We didn't get our Pikachu that we were hoping to catch, but we did get a lot of other stuff. Um, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Hope you are learning something. Hope you're enjoying the series. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button. And if you're not yet, please consider subscribing. It'd mean the world to me. This is Dark Skywolf, and I'm signing off for the day. Catch y'all in the next episode.